life. Okay. Welcome back, guys, to the drawing table where we have chill and casual conversations about art and, of course, about creating it as well. We are your hosts, Kendra Madi and Jordan Tuffin. And today is our 12th episode. And mm-hmm. as Jordan mentioned, it's been a while since. I've been in this episode and since we've done a big episode other than the chill sessions that we've done. Oh yeah. Um, The last two episodes? We actually did want to do this episode during the last one, but the preparation for it took a bit longer than expected. Mm -hmm. With some uh, mishaps along the way. Yeah, unfortunately. But we did want to make sure that we made this episode the best that it can be for you guys. So, without further ado, Ken, would you reveal to us the concept of this new segment? Right. And yeah, so for today's episode, it's a brand new segment called The Artist Panel. And the idea is that we thought that there are so many opinions out there on the internet today. And it's Mm -hmm. especially difficult to gather them all in one place. So, The Artist Panel is a tool for us to provide content for you guys where you can easily um, gather opinions from different artists from various backgrounds so you can pick and mix uh, what's more relatable to you and what's also difficult is that some opinions may seem more valid than others because it may maybe because it came from someone more famous or maybe their opinions oh, sound like art channel Oh yeah, for, for sure. And usually yeah. they put up their title or work their titles as if <laughs> what they say is the one true answer yeah, the to everything. Possible, you know? So I'm sure you exactly. guys are familiar with more clickbaity titles out there. It's like the truth about the concept art industry or like the truth about burnout and things like that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, personally, that kind of annoys me. I don't know about you guys in the chat because as far as I know... Um, that there's no such thing as one truth when it comes to something as colorful and so diverse as an artistic journey. Everyone has their mm-hmm. own personal one. And one of the inspirations behind the artist panel as well is all the conversations that we've had with people that we've met throughout our whole lifetime and career. And one thing that we have realized is that not all the best advice always comes from the most experienced or the most skillful artists from the industry because some people um, might have some unique insights that those artists don't have, which some Mm -hmm. other people might find even more relatable. And Mm -hmm. we realize that because there's so many opinions out there, we try to fill in that need to have all of them in one place with the concept of artist panel. Mm -hmm. so yeah so with the artist panel we ask several artists Mm -hmm. from different backgrounds and also different relationship status because we think it's important to have Mm -hmm. people of various um, situations and journeys so that you can compare and contrast with your own journey and then oh yeah definitely i agree with that and yeah, and that way with relationship we, status as well. Mm-hmm. It's it's because uh, we realized that with everyone uh, that is in a serious relationship, it could greatly affect how they live their lives, and especially in relation to the topic of discussion for today, which is work and life balance. Mm-hmm. We believe that it is actually one of the most important aspects of life because. Uh, or of our artistic career because it transcends and encapsulates that and it has to do with how we live our lives and it can determine how effectively we spend our time and also how fulfilling our lives are. Mm -hmm. So for the first panel, we have asked five different artists a series of questions about work and life balance. And yeah, with that said, we're going to introduce all of the guests now. Yes, and five talented artists. Mm-hmm. We've asked them to send send us their question, uh, their answers to the questions. So it's not gonna be a live uh, what live session with them. 
We're yes. just gonna play a video of their answers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so with with the videos, you may notice that two of them have my own voice because both yes. of them sent us written answers. And so it's not with because <laughs> there's other people that have exactly Ken's voice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we took the liberty of voicing over their, their answers. So oh, I, I apologize in advance. Well, I took the liberty. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Forgive us. If, forgive me. If yeah, forgive my representations Ken. are poor. <laughs> and hello to everyone in the chat as well. Uh, we, it's really great to see so many people here. And of course, without further ado, let us introduce our artist panel for this episode. Okay, let's play it. Hi, my name is Kate. I'm 20, based in the UK, and I'm currently a second year student at University of Hertfordshire, as well as a concept art intern at Opus Arts. Currently, I'm interning part-time, but I'll be starting full-time beginning of June. Hello, my name is Joshua Raphael, 21 years old. I've been working as a professional digital artist for about two years. I'm single, and I live in Jakarta. Hi, my name is Leo Avero. I'm 22 years old. I've been working professionally now for two years and I'm single. I currently live in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. I also work here in the city. Hello guys, my name is John Silva, 26 years old, almost 27. My work experience is four or five years, I think, since the end of school. And uh, I have a girlfriend currently, already for 11 years, almost 12, and I'm working from Manchester, UK. These answers come from a senior 3D environment artist working in a top game studio in Los Angeles. He prefers to keep himself anonymous. He is 27 years old and single, with six years of experience working in the game industry. All right, and there we have it, guys, with our panel of artists. And we actually, and we have, actually have some of them in the chat. In the chat. So if you guys, so if you guys like would like to make yourselves known to the chat, feel free to do so. We'd love it if you guys could also participate in this conversation and discussion as well. So we each can have a better idea of how many people are going through different things. And maybe we all can learn from each other when it comes to that. And so yeah, you if you also, have... Hmm? Mm -hmm. Now, I, I was going to say, if we, we're going to also put up the list of questions as we go through them on the yes. screen. So if you have any comments or maybe you have your own answers to your situations, um, yeah, feel free to post them in the chat or the comment se mm -hmm. session or maybe have a, a talk with people in the, the, the stream as well. Yes. And some of the people that are on the panel are also in the chat as well. So if you guys would like to make yourselves known, that would be really cool to see that you guys are watching. Yeah. And maybe you have a little bit of an explanation, Ken, for the anonymous artist near the end, just so people right. have an idea of what's going on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, one of our guests is, unfortunately, uh, is, uh, his contract is ND8. So I, I don't think he's allowed to say where he works or mm -hmm. uh, anything remotely close to identifying himself. <laughs> so yeah, uh, just to be safe, we just voice, um, we just make sure that we put himself as anonymous. Yeah, and take our word for it, guys, that this is a real person and not someone mm -hmm. that we've just made up in order to fill a gap, you know? <laughs> yeah. So yes. Yeah. Um, so now that we've introduced our artist panel, uh, the first question that we asked them um, actually has to do with the re um, is to do with the idea that everyone has their own concept of what a perfect work and life balance looks like. So we decided to start off by first asking them what theirs looks like. And you can see on the screen now that mm -hmm. this is the question that we ask these artists. So, should we play their answers? Yes, let's do that right now, Ken. I think a perfect work-life balance to me would probably look like a rotation of different things so that I stay refreshed and avoid burnout. I think looking after your health with exercise and eating well is really important. 
And I love cooking and trying out new recipes or like learning to cook dishes I grew up with. I think taking breaks with other hobbies is very important to me. I love film photography. I love going out to places I haven't been to before and finding something interesting. And in a way, it's still creative and using your brain in a different way. And I also love karate. I used to do a lot of training before university, but my dojo is quite far from me now to go there frequently. So I usually go running instead. And there are some nice fields and places to run in my uni. So I find that quite refreshing after being in front of the computer a lot. My version of a perfect work-life balance is by having a good income enough to pay for my monthly expense and for some investments. Having a good workout plan, enough sleeping time and friends beyond co-workers seems perfect to me. Perfect work and life balance for me is being able to get the daily task done and deliver what you have to deliver, to hang out with friends and family, and also a little bit of exercise to stay healthy both physically and mentally. And maybe some overtime here and there, but nothing too crazy, only if needed. Some people might say that your progress will run slower if you do it at that pace. But I think it is much, much better to go slower as long as you don't stop, rather than, you know, going 200% at one thing, but ignoring the others and being miserable at it. Yeah, I think... Being disciplined has a lot of things to do with it because, you know, it's not only about being able to work when you have to, but also being able to take the rest when you need it. Uh, besides, any research about human brain says that rest is as important as the work itself. A good work-life balance would be both of them are kind of merged. Uh, in terms of um, you wake up and, and you do what you love from the day, from the moment you go to bed and uh, while you do just surrounded by the people you love so that would be the perfect work life balance obviously to me a perfect work life balance is one where you feel a sense of stability with your job finances and time in terms of time, when you are at work, you do your hours for the day, giving it your all and doing what you need to do, and then being able to leave without feeling like you have to stay longer. You can leave work and pursue other activities and hobbies. It's also not having the pressure or feeling like you have to go home and constantly be doing more art and that everything you do has to be your best work. Instead, you can do art on your own accord and actually enjoy doing it but still keeping in mind what the current industry trends are, what are the new tools and pipeline people are using, etc. Basically, staying relevant and not sitting back so much that your skills become stagnant while also not pushing yourself so hard that you burn out from constant, constantly being in work mode. All right, there we have it, guys. The answers to the first question. And I think there's lots of great answers there. For sure. And what's interesting to me is that all of them seem to want to have some time off their art, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. I, think I mean, I think that's something that's very, very interesting, interesting is that, is that you, know, you know, there is a balance between life. Because, because I think when I was, when I was just starting out as a student, I didn't have much of a concept about it. Or when I was early on in my career. Oops. Okay, so one thing that I found to be the case when I was starting off in my career and even as a student is that I had no concept of life balance all I really was obsessed about was work and if someone asked me this question in the past I probably would have just said I wish I had more time to work 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 and that's it you know so yeah. it's actually really great to see so many artists on these panel and quite a few of them if you guys have noticed are quite a young age to mm -hmm. that realize all of these things already mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and most of them, yeah, most of them seem to want the flexibility of time and also ab the ability of being able to choose to do other activities beside, uh, besides art whenever mm -hmm. they want. Oh, and yeah. and I think it's really important. Activity that 
seems to be a common thread amongst all of these artists is actually working out. Yeah. Oh, and um, Kenny says that you're a little bit too loud, Ken. Okay. All right, so maybe lower your volume a little bit on uh, OBS. Yes. Let me know if okay, this is a lot better. Yeah, please let us know, guys. Oh, yeah, and back to what I was saying. One thing that I found to be interesting is that a lot of people seem to acknowledge uh, the fact that working out is an important part of work-life balance and mm -hmm. yeah i personally agree with that and it's something that i've noticed especially during my time in fcd is that we barely did any exercise and we had horrible sleeping habits we would barely get any rest and i'm sure that you can even uh agree with me on this ken mm -hmm. And oh, yeah. for a short amount of time, it was fine. My body could handle it. But now, as I'm getting more advanced in my age, I actually notice when I don't get enough exercise that even though I mm -hmm. might feel like I'm getting a lot more time to actually work on my art and other things, maybe hanging out with friends, in the long run, I actually feel much more lethargic and I have a lot less energy than I normally do. Yeah, I think uh, the idea of working out is not it's it's not just for your physical um, health, but it's also for your mental and spiritual health. Because when I don't exercise <laughs> for a long time, can. <laughs> well, I mean, in terms of um, actually being motivated or having the energy to do work, it actually affects me quite a lot. Like for example, if I don't do any exercises at all for mm -hmm. let's say a week then the next week i'll usually feel very weak and just don't feel motivated at all to do any sort of art so it's important not just for your right. physical health but mentally as well like and so your actually mo motivation you know and all those yeah things yeah as well. yeah exactly but um speaking of perfect work-life balance Back to the question mm -hmm. i'd actually would love to know what your perfect life balance is like like what oh, yeah. what's I your that'll be a good what's your goal yeah yeah i think it'll be good to also just let the audience know what our perfect life work work and life balance is and for me it's actually quite similar in a lot of ways which i find to be very interesting when i was listening to all of these answers is that for me it's definitely having time for relationships so that means with friends um mm -hmm. and of course spending time with my wife mm -hmm. and for those of you that don't know yeah ken and i are married and not, also, not us too <laughs> yes not the both of us <laughs> we're not, not married, married to each other <laughs> <laughs> we're not married to each other <laughs> maybe maybe secretly wow. but now it's the cat's out of the bag <laughs> but um <laughs> but yeah and in terms of relationships also meeting new people as well because i really do think I really enjoy me, uh, talking to new people, hearing their experiences, and just being able to uh, yeah, be a part of their lives and hear their stories. I do think that's one of the most rewarding things for me in life. <laughs> I think the chat's just going crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but glad to see that they're very tolerant, you know, of our, um, of our relationship. <laughs> And for me as well, I do think that time to work on my personal pursuits uh, other than mm -hmm. art. So like Kay, I also enjoy cooking a lot. And it's one of the things that I am deeply passionate about outside of art. And sometimes, you know, even more than art itself. And mm -hmm. of course, having more time to do podcasts and learning new skills in general. So outside of what I've just mentioned... And of course, taking time to take care of my health and working out. Uh, it's something that I think is very crucial to just live a much more fulfilling life and to be more effective and efficient. And one thing that I've discovered the importance of recently is the time for rest and reflection as well. Because sometimes yeah. I think when we're constantly uh, just running towards our goal, it might be a good idea to just take a rest and then look at where we're going and make sure that we're headed in the right direction. Because when we're so caught up in all of it, I think it's easy just to get sidetracked or realize that, oh, 
I veered off the path. So yeah, that would be my perfect work and life balance. So I'm just going to bounce that question back to you, Ken. What's yours like? Yeah, um, I think mine is quite different in a way that I actually want to have less time working on art. Um, so a perfect work-life balance for me is when I have enough passive income so I don't have to worry about working freelance or just working to meet basic demands or basic monthly income. I want to be able to work, but that work will be mostly for my own fulfillment mm. or my own personal pursuit. So I don't really want, like I want to reduce my time working to get income, but instead I want to have more time working for my own, um, yeah, my own enjoyment. And mm, also have more time to spend with my wife and family and also keep myself healthier by mm. doing exercises or yoga classes. Mm, and I see, I see. yeah, and also have some, some extra time to pursue other activities that interest me but haven't had the chance to actually try mm -hmm. them. For example, like photography or videography or, or even mm. cooking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. and... And also, what's really important for me as well is traveling. I'd like to mm. have some time to spend just mm. going somewhere I haven't been before. But yeah. Right. So I think so that would fall my... under this. Yeah, mm. just like the idea of new skill or new pursuits in general. Uh, mm -hmm. I do believe that there is a huge importance in actually expanding our skill set or even our life experience beyond just what we have. While, yes, we need to hone our technical skills and stay indoors in our little artist cave, mm -hmm. I do think that art is an imitation of life. And the best kind of artwork to me that I've experienced and seen are the kind of artworks where the artists have experienced so much and they're translating that into their works. And mm -hmm. I, only, I believe that they're able to do that because they have had all of that time to experience more to life than just what they see in their room and i think that is the down sure. not downfall or at least common mistake that a lot of artists make or maybe the misconception a lot of artists that start off have what do you think ken oh yeah i totally agree i think our life experiences uh, the things that we sense with our five senses, it will all feed back into our art. And I think in the future, that's what's going to make our art different. And I think I've been having this, these kinds of thoughts a lot. And mm -hmm. in the future, I think uh, labors such as um, may maybe like doing manual line drawings and things like that can be handed off to computers or AI. Oh, no. But no, I mean, AI it's just a take thought. A job. Yeah, it's just a thought. I mean, it's going to be needed for sure. But <laughs> uh, I think in the end, what people seek will be uh, your own creative vision. So mm -hmm. every every person have different, different uh, visions of what they want to uh, convey. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, definitely. that will all be affected by how you live your life. Mm, definitely, I agree with that. And uh, yeah, what about you guys in the chat? I, we'd actually really love to hear what you guys think the perfect work and life balance is for you. And if we have time later or even after the podcast, we'll definitely take the time and read through the responses. And of course, other people in the chat, I'm sure, would be interested to gather a more varied range of opinions.